This year in Les Bergerins, we have five trainees who are with us to, among other things, help with banding, but also help with other tasks. We'll send them to the dunes to help with the migration count. This morning, it was really early, 4 a.m. We get up at bird time, and it's really cool. We're going to participate in a census activity at the dunes of Tadoussac, and if we're lucky, we'll observe an extremely rare occurrence called reverse migration, birds that retrace their steps. We have a chance of having thousands of birds around us at the same time, so fingers crossed. Good morning, Alexander. Good morning. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. What about you? We're on the edge of the St. Lawrence River, and we're in the company of bird watchers. There are also people doing bird censuses, including the employees of the Tadasac Bird Observatory. We're in patience mode today. We spend several hours watching birds with our binoculars, with our observation glasses. It's starting to get a bit active. We have warblers passing by, actually coming from the east. The team that's here counts all the birds that pass. They're experts who know everything about warblers. They're able to recognize them super quickly, so it's fun. We're starting to have birds passing by. We start here at 7 a.m. every morning, seven days a week. If the birds pass, we can finish at four or five in the evening. Some days it can go up to 300, 400 birds, and some days it can go to 30 or 40,000 birds. We note them all on paper or with clickers. We do this to find out what the trends are in bird populations in Quebec. To do long-term monitoring like this, we use 27 or 28 years of data to see if the species are increasing or declining. Can you explain to us what's happening this morning? It's the first day that there are so many warblers. They've just arrived. They're going to go southwest. And it's a bit contradictory because it's spring. We think it's like a migratory correction that they're going to make, and they're going to change direction to go back north after that. Everyone's excited to see these birds arriving from Costa Rica. Sometimes, like right now, there's really a mad abundance of birds. There are hundreds of warblers right now. It's really fun. It's just crazy. It's thousands of warblers. And it's not a thousand once in a while, it's thousands continuously. It's incredible. It's an incredible phenomenon that we can't experience very many times after all. Is it difficult to count all these birds? It's extremely difficult actually. Already the birds are everywhere around us. Some are very close, it's super easy. We can see them very well. We can identify them with the naked eye. We don't even need binoculars. But there are some who are extremely far. We don't necessarily know where they came from. We could place transmitters on the warblers and then have modus towers, for example, scattered around. That way we could really see where they come from. Possibly they headed east, they crossed the river, then they came back down along the river to reach their nesting site. It's pretty crazy. We braved the cold, the rain, the wind today, but we're really happy because we've just experienced an extremely rare phenomenon. Hundreds of thousands of birds passed today in this corridor here at the dunes of Tadasac. We're really happy to have accompanied the scientists and volunteers of the Tadasac Bird Observatory these last days of the census during the banding, which helped them better understand the birds, their movements, their migrations, and ultimately serves to better protect them and better protect their habitat, the boreal forest. Mm -hmm.